Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be understanding the uh, cell mediated cytolysis by the particular cell that is the NK cells, a larger granular lymphocytes, or you can say the cytotoxic uh, lymphocytes. So, this is a structure of NK cells having the uh, activating receptor, inhibitory receptor, and co activating receptor. So, first we know the what is NK cells. Uh, nature killer cells are type of uh, immune cells that plays vital role in the innate immune system. They are uh, one type of particular lymphocytes, uh, also type of white blood cell and are part of the body first line of defense against the uh, infection and virus, uh, sorry, infection and cancer cells, okay, virus infected cells also we can say. So, uh, here uh, one of the most uh, important role or uh, important features of NK cell. It is uh, unlike other immune cells that require prior exposure to specific pathogen. Uh, NK cell can quickly recognize and attack infected cell or cancer cell without prior sensitization. So this is the uh, one of the uh, features NK cell having. Now phenotype of NK cell. So first, uh, where do NK cell uh, come from? Okay. So NK cell. Uh, are distinct from other lymphocytes such as T, T cells and B cells in terms of their origin and function. So, NK cells are lymphocytes derived from the common lymphoid progenitors uh, in the bone marrow. So, also thymus organism is required for NK cell maturation and development. Here is the one of the uh, example like uh, nude mice which don't have thymus and uh, lake many T cells but still have functional nature killer cell population okay so the how uh, nature killer cells develop develop from the uh, bone marrow okay so hematopoietic uh, stem cell or you can say the uh, blood stem cell a type of multipotent uh, stem cell that gives rise to the various type of blood cells in the body so the hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow differentiate into the uh, nk cell NK cell precursor first, okay, and through the series of the development uh, stage, they eventually become the mature NK cells. Now, the mature NK cells uh, then circulate in the bloodstream and are also found in the various tissue, for example, blood, bone marrow, liver, spleen, lymph node, lung tissue, and intestinal mucosa throughout the body. Are ready to respond to potential threats like infected cells, abnormal cells, and cancerous. So NK cell population, okay, uh, in uh, circulatory system that is a five percent to ten percent. Also, despite the uh, absence of specific antigen receptor like antibody and T cell receptor, they play a major role in immune defense against infected cells, stress cells, and tumor cells. Now the function and roles of nature killer cells. So the uh, first major role in uh, immune defense against infected cells, stress cell and tumor cells. NK cell also play regulatory role in both innate and adaptive immune system. Critically important for the development of normal placenta. Yeah, this is the most important uh, function of the NK cell. Okay. So uh, NK cell also play regulatory role in both innate and immune uh, sis, uh, immune system. So, the uh, response to conventional antigen by secreting cytokines and that are alter the immune response, right? So, first we understand the importance of NK cell cytokines, which type of cytokines are released uh, NK cell. So, the first uh, interferon gamma, okay? This cytokine has several important functions including uh, enhancing the activity of other immune cells, first. Second, promoting the in, uh, inflammatory response. Third, contributing to the antiviral anti tumor activities of the immune system. Second, uh, cytokine released by the NK cell that is the tumor necrosis factor alpha, which play a role in inducing cell death. You can say the apoptosis in certain target cells, particular tumor cells, and it also contributes to the inflammatory response. Now, third, that is the granulocyte macrophages colony stimulating factor GMCSF. Okay, so uh, which stimulate the production and the activation of other immune cells such as macrophages, 
and genocide. Uh, fourth, interleukin 10. Okay. Uh, while NK cells are generally associated with the pro inflammatory response, and they can also produce the interleukin 10, and which has uh, anti inflammatory effect and helps to regulate the immune response. So, fifth uh, uh, cytokine which is released by the NK cell produced by the NK cell that is interleukin 5 and interleukin 30. So, this uh, contribute to the production of these cytokinin, okay, which are involved in the activation and recruitment of eosinophil and other immune cells. So, this is all about the uh, importance of NK cell cytokinin. Okay. So, the virus infected cells also release the cytokinin. So, this cytokinin, they mainly the uh, interferon, the alpha interferon beta are released from virus infected cells soon after the infection. And one other result is the interleukin 12 also. So interferon alpha. So it has the antiviral properties and is important in the activities of immune cells such as immature killer cell and macrophages. Second one that is the interferon beta. Interferon beta uh, mainly produced by the uh, fibroblast and other cell type in response to viral infection. And that involved in the uh, antiviral defense and help regulate the immune response against the viruses. Third, that is the interferon gamma. Interferon gamma uh, primarily produced by the uh, activated T cells or natural killer cells and do lesser extent by the uh, virus infected cells. The function that is the uh, for enhancing the antiviral, antiviral activity of macrophages and promoting the development of th1 th, uh, immune response and it also uh, play a role in the activating other immune cells last that is the interleukin 12 is a cytokine that uh, play a crucial role in the stimulating natural killer cell okay so interleukin 2 so interleukin 12 is typically produced by the uh, antigen presenting cells such as macrophages and dendritic cells in response to the uh, microbial infection including viral infection. So these are the cytokines similar to the NK cells okay and quickly leading to the rise in the NK cell population maybe. Okay so uh, NK cell activity stimulated by the innate immune, cell, immune cytokine that is interfere alpha interfere beta interleukin which is produced by the uh, virus infected cell. So the first uh, Black dashes, okay. Black dashes cow. Here it is the population of uh, interferon alpha interferon beta are released uh, from the virus infected cell soon after infection. That is the one to four days, zero to four days. Now the uh, NK cell activity is stimulated by the innate immune cytokinin, okay, interferon alpha interferon beta and interferon uh, twelve, which all rise rapidly. Okay, during the early course of viral infection, here it is. Now, the wave of uh, NK cell activity peaks subsequently to this rise about, about three days after infection. Okay, one, two, and three. It, and now, NK cell help contain the infection during the period required for generation of CTLs. Okay, here it is the CTL. After two days, the uh, CTL generation is start. There is a black cow. Now, the once the CTL uh, population reaches a peak, okay, here it is vir uh, virus titer rapidly decrease. Okay, here it is. This is the virus virus titer all. There is a decrease when they reaches up to the peak and uh, CTL population. Now it is titer that means the uh, measure of the concentration quantity of the virus in sample. Okay, so how the uh, NK cell helps to the uh, generation of CTL. Okay, and then this is your interferon. Okay, beta and alpha also stimulate the NK cell population. Here some are the MCQ based questions. Okay, so the first, what is the primary role of natural killer cells in the immune system? Option there is the uh, antigen presenting presentation, the antibody production, uh, CCL mediated immunity, or phagocytosis. Second question is which cytokine often produced by the NK cells to enhance the immune responses? Uh, option A, interleukin 10, interleukin 2, tumor necrosis factor alpha, interferon gamma. And third, NK cells are part of which branch of the immune system? 
innate adaptive and both innate adaptive immunity in none of the above. Okay, so uh, solve each questions and provide the answer in the comment section. And thank you for watching.